Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 17, Thoughts. This episode is called The Team, another episode I love, right up as one of my favorite episodes of the show so far. Spoilers throughout this video for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. So, let's get right into it. Yeah, um... Joey went on a date, and it seemed to be going well, and then the date gets interrupted because the, you know, this is, yeah, superhero secret identity kind of stuff. You can't, you know, yeah, I, I feel bad for him, and it was, like, that was a really good line, too, you know, the, this thing of, you know, oh, the you should see the the stars from my roof or window, something like that. And he's like, I like that. You know, just yeah, it was really going well. Just, yeah, and Elena is like practicing what she's going to say, and some of what she practiced is what she said to Mac later. So I don't know if that was who she was practicing for. I guess. Maybe in one of the next episodes we'll find out for sure if that was, or she just ended up using what she was going to say to someone else on on him. Uh, yeah, I like when you know all four of the Inhumans are together. The the Secret Warriors have assembled, and you know that they, they keep asking questions, and the answer is like I I don't know, and you know finally the the Finally, Elena and Joey are just like, you don't know. And so, when do we land? About that. <laughs> and, yeah, it is the first jump for both Elena and Joey. And, yeah, the, you know, the various major characters of our S.H.I.E.L.D. team did manage to make it into the panic room, which always sounds like a great place to chill. And, you know, yeah, Fitz is like, I, I sure hope this, this you know, seal holds because this chlorine glass will, chlorine gas will blind us all. And Mac is like, what? Okay, maybe we need to talk, you know, maybe we need to make sure first. But nope, Fitz just, you know, yeah, starts the, the gas. And, yeah, I love that, you know, they're like, okay, shoot whatever comes through that door. It's just complete quiet, and then you hear knocking noises. It's just like, okay, yeah, that's that's worth investigating because there's no way Hydra would be knocking, you know. And, yeah, it is, you know, Elena, like, <laughs> it seems like the kind of thing, you know, because they didn't, they didn't know exactly what the... Uh, what were the what's the word? Um, they didn't have a specific plan. It was just kind of okay, you know. We gotta go free them all, you know. So, and she hasn't had a lot of shield training, you know. I can imagine if it was Daisy, she might have. There might be like some code word or or something to make sure, you know. But Elena's a normal person who's in this extraordinary circumstance. So she just knocks, because that's what you do when you're at a door and there's someone on the other side that you have a positive relationship with, you know, so just, yeah, really great. And... <laughs> it, can anybody in here fly? I'm, and I mean, you know, fly a plane, not like... But the, the you know, and, and, you know, Simmons is like, May, you can, you can, you could barely walk, I can still fly. And, yeah, you know, there, there's line, you know, there's someone on the inside. And, let's see, I, yeah, I, I really love when, right, the, yeah, the, the Inhumans going on the mission is also great. We got a lot of great use of superpowers. And... Yeah, you know, Elena and Joey work really well together as this, you know, he stops the bullets, she, you know, puts the, the handcuffs on. 
but but yeah, afterwards, you know, when Lane is like, oh, and they were fire, firing the bulls, I'm like, boom, 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 you know, just so so great to see, you know, she's she's so into it, just yeah, you know, enthusiasm is very infectious, and so is Hive. And I love that they're setting up these little things where it's like, hmm, is there something going on with that, you know, with that character? So, you know, because we're looking for, okay, who's who's being sus? Because there's someone on the inside. And Joey, sure, you know, he gets a couple of, like, looks and he's being very quiet. And just, you know, and, and yeah, once you realize, no, he wasn't infected... Yeah, he he was upset because he just killed someone, and it's it's messing with him, you know. And we have the yeah, a uh, great monologue, uh, you know, with with Gideon. Uh, yeah, talking, you know, yeah, talking about the the Arabian horse, and you know, he was foolish to think. That he could, you know, control Hive. And let's see. Yeah, I really, really love the line with, you know, he killed her, cares nothing for us, doesn't sound like a god. Oh no, Mr. Carlson, it is a god, just not ours. And let's see, let me have the. Yeah, um, Daisy confronts Lincoln about. The, the Terrigen, and, you know, yeah, it's this thing of, yeah, if she knew, she would have agreed, but, you know, she, she really does not like, you know, her, her partner hiding things from her, which, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Grant turned out to be Hydra, which was a pretty big thing he was hiding. I could turn that dirty. I'm choosing not to. And yeah, really great to see Mac and Elena spending more time together. And you know, now that they're on the same side and they trust each other more, yeah, you know, and he's he's learned some more Spanish, not just pescado. And yeah, and she points out, you know, everyone's calling me yo yo now. Your fault. I don't know why, but it really cracked me up when when Fitz like, you know, so so they're they're looking at Lucio's dead body, you know, and and the hand is like lying here, and and Fitz goes up and just does this, and it's just like, I mean, that does not seem like the most professional thing to do, but I'm not gonna claim that I and many others haven't. Like, imagine doing something like that in some of our more immature moments. And, you know, there's the thing, you know, I, I thought he was dead. Well, dead-ish. This is fascinating. No, it's it's quarantine. And... Yeah, and, and Gideon tells Coulson not to trust any inhuman. You'll see. And, yeah, you know, the, the theme of, you know, regular people, tr whether or not they trust Inhumans continues to be a theme. And I really appreciate that. You know, um, Lincoln points out, you know, you heard that there was something wrong and you immediately thought it had to be one of us. And... Yeah, so Fitzsimmons try to figure out if, you know, how to how to test for it, how to cure it. I like that Daisy calls Hive Zombie Ward, which is not my favorite part of the hospital. Unless I feel like taking on some zombies. And yeah, May does not want any pain medication. And, yeah, uh, Malik talks about, you know, he thinks this way because he was raised in faith. God's bleed. Badass line. 
So the Inhumans are wondering what the hell is going on. Also, what the hell is going on, Mac? And... Yeah, Fitzsimmons... Well, Simmons, you know, cuts open Lucio's brain, and Fitz tries to think about anything else. And I like the thing of it, you know... So, Simmons is going to make it sound sciency, but what we're really doing is cutting open his head. And Simmons is like, Fitz doesn't like audio notes. <laughs> Very passive-aggressive, love to see it. And, yeah, fantastic effects. Like, they they didn't just, like, oh, you know, let's, let's just imply, let's cut away. No, they, like, they show, you know the the remove of the uh, skull cap is that what it's called I'm not a medical anything you know and we see the infected brain just so just yeah really really cool to see you know not used to something so graphic in the MCU in in the movies certainly you know uh, ABC and Netflix had this kind of graphic stuff. And then we have the, yeah, you know, all four of the Inhumans are saying or doing something that makes them somewhat sus. And I like, you know, Mac makes the point, if you stare at someone long enough, eventually everything looks suspicious. And we see that there is a mine missing, and Mac is like, oh no, you know, and it's such a great, because like, immediately we think Elena is the one, you know, because we specifically saw him, you know, indicate, ah, those, yeah, those will kill, you know, wink, wink, am I, am I winking with the right eye here, just... You know, but, yeah, well, you know, by the end of the episode, we know that it's Daisy who was infected. She also knows where the mines are, so it's a great little misdirect there. And, yeah, Gideon is dead, and the mine, dis you know, yeah, disposes of the body so no one can determine the cause of death. Everybody be cool. May be cool. And I don't mean badass because, yes, you were born badass, I mean, be calm. And... Yeah. Very cool to have the Secret Warriors fighting the rest of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And the Inhumans start turning on each other, accusing each other, and, and saying, you know, that there's that thing about, you know, Daisy, where were you when Gideon died? I was in my room. Where were you when the power went out? Sparky. I wonder if that's where the idea for the name of the dog came from. But yeah, and you know, yeah, once you've watched the entire episode and you think back to it, yeah, you know, he was right. Where was she? She was indeed killing Malik. And let's see. Yeah, and you know, the yeah, you have the line, do we even know what to look for? And I think it's Mac who says, we do now. And it cuts so we don't get to know right away. And yeah, so, you know, Daisy managed to frame Lincoln. And the, yeah, Coulson thinks that Hive turned Lincoln in the other episode when, you know, he hit him in the head, which, yeah, very clever. And, yeah, um, Colton says, you know, they have to disband the secret warriors. And very sweet kiss between Fitzsimmons and, you know, Fitz is like, I, I don't want to rush back into things. And Simmons is like, it's been 10 years. This is not rushing. Let's see. And... Don't call me Natasha, because I ain't Russian. And, yeah, the, you know, he's he's like, I've got something, mag you know, who needs space? I've got something magnificent right here, if you know what I mean. And, you know, he's talking about, like, 
a picture of space, one of my most prized possessions. So it's just, yeah, very funny. And let's see. Yeah, and, and Daisy says, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. can't hold us. And it's, it's great because, yeah, there is, like, at first I thought that she was testing him. That, like, maybe we're going to find out, oh, you know, Fitzsimmons is struggling to come up with a test. So she's going to try to test him by saying, I can let you out of there. And, you know, he's going to fall for it and say, oh, thank goodness, you know, then we can... You know, I just need to get the my hands on the artifact, and we'll, you know, we'll be we'll be good. But no, you know, the yeah, he realizes that she must be, um, yeah, have been taken over. I'm I'm really looking forward to. I I sincerely doubt they're gonna like kill off the character of Daisy. I look forward to her like grappling with having been taken over. That's going to be very compelling emotional material to, for them to mine. But yeah, um, Hive managed to infect Daisy earlier in the episode. I I gotta say, uh, I've you know, I've liked Chloe Bennett's acting, you know, up until this episode. But I have to say, you know. Once she starts acting possessed, that opens up a whole new level of how great she is. Just, you know, just the little little choices she makes. Just so, so freaking good. Just, yeah. Um, we've never seen her quite like this before. And, yeah. I, I really love that this episode is basically like, the Thing 1982 Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. edition, you know, it's The Thing, but with superpowers, and just, yeah, really, really love it. You know, you right down to, there's a, there's a test, you know, at first they have no idea that there's infection, uh, you know, there's misdirects about who the, the, the carrier is, you know, paranoia and and all this stuff just yeah and yeah she uses her quake powers to start to to destroy this un, you know this this underground i forget if it's underground they've had so many bases i can't keep up but yeah you know certainly yeah she can really do significant damage if no one is able to stop her and, yeah, um, Gira tells Hive, you know, we gotta be careful about Gideon, and he's like, you know, he's been taking care of. Hydra has evolved. And, yeah, there are 960 million dollars of, of money and assets, and they're, you know, let's spend it. Shopping spree. But, yeah, um amazing um, cliffhanger ending really looking forward to it. yeah and this is powers booth's final acting role before he passed away may 15th of 2017 and just i'm you know it's it was a great loss i'm so glad he got to act in so many things over the course of his career, he's just, he's so much fun. I've never, not once have I watched a Powers Booth performance and been like, eh, could I, I've, I've seen better. No, it's always so much fun, even when, you know, yeah, I've already mentioned, but it bears repeating, he's so much fun in Sudden Death. It's unreal, you know. Yeah, both of the Sin City movies... Oh, that's right, yeah, Hitman Absolution. Yeah, just, you know, so, so incredibly talented. Let's see. U-Turn. Um, yeah, just such a, a talented actor. Let's see, right, and... Um, 
So, according to IMDb Trivia, the explosive the Daisy used to detonate Malik is actually just an emergency light by the company PowerFlare.com. And... Let's see... Yeah. I am gonna try to do an episode tomorrow. We shall see. And... Let's see... Um, right, yes, uh, I, I like the detail that, you know, the ancient satanic creation myths were based on Hive. Let's see, and... Um, yeah, and you have the this thing of, uh, you know... Yeah, uh, the, the devil promises everything and then lets you destroy your own world. I sacrificed my brother to him, still he took my daughter, and that image of her body lying on that floor, I failed her. What else matters? What you do next matters.